Today I'm going to show you how to change the fuel pump on a 2003 Chevy Silverado 1500. Alright, so we're going to diagnose why it is the fuel pump. So first off, you're going to take this cover off. There's going to be an engine cover. It pulls on right there. And then there's going to be a little plastic screw cap right here. You're going to undo that. And all you're going to need is one other person and the screwdriver. So what you're going to do is just stick the screwdriver in like that. And then you're going to turn the car over. And then, all right, as you can see, no fuel came out. So you know fuel is not actually getting to the fuel rail from the engine. So next, to make sure we're gonna go underneath the truck on the driver's side and just underneath of it. So you're gonna see this right here and you're gonna slide under and you will see the fuel filter. Right here is coming from the tank. Here is going to the engine. There's a spill plastic tab. All you need to do is take a screwdriver and break this off from the top to the bottom. That way it can still support it a little bit, but it is not very needed. I have already changed this out and checked it, so I know this is not the problem. There are two methods of taking the replacing the fuel pump in this vehicle. One, you can drop the tank, or you can remove the bed. The method I'm going to be showing you today is removing the bed. Alright, so first what you're going to do is get a Torx T30 bit and you're going to take out these four bolts and this one pin to free the filler neck hose from the body of the truck. Actually, I was wrong. All you need to do is take out these top two and this one little clip. Just try not to scratch your paint. It'd be better if you had a pry tool meant for this, but a screwdriver works just as well, as you can see. Alright, so the next thing you want to do is remove the tailgate, because you're going to make this bed as light as possible. So you're going to lift the bed up a little bit, prop it up on yourself, and then this tab right here, just pull that back, pull it forward, and come out. And then just do the other side the same way. So the next thing you're going to do is, on the passenger side, you're going to want to get it at about a 45 degree angle, and then pull back, and up. You just got a fennel like that, and then it should just come straight out. You might need a buddy to help you do this. All right, so on both sides, you'll have four bolts. There'll be two in the back, two in the front, on the driver's side and passenger side. So if we crawl underneath, you'll find the frame. You want to go under the frame, and then maybe in right up here. I hope you can see where, all right, up in here, right there. That's one of your bolts. Your second bolt, maybe you can see it, is right there. So that's where your two bolts in the back are. It'll be one, two on this side, two on the on the other side. And then on the front, I'm just gonna take that bolt and that bolt off on both sides. All right, so you're gonna go underneath the driver's side again, and you'll notice there are four harnesses. You only need to remove these middle two all you're going to do is pull the tab, push the tab, and pull it back. And there will be trash flying on you doing it, so you will need safety goggles or close your eyes. That's all you're going to need to do. These go to the accessories on the bed. Alright, the last step is going to be removing this ground strip. It'll be on your driver's side towards the front of the cab. It's about attached to your fuel tank. So all you're going to do is you're going to want a 10mm, and on this side you're just going to take that off. You're going to crack it loose and it should just come right off. Alright, so now that you have all of that disconnected, you are ready to lift the bed up and off. Uh, you can lift it up and put it, you can set the back end of the bumper, of the fin on the bumper, and the front half can sit on the frame. Alright, now that you have the fuel pump, which is right here, where you can see it, um, you're going to want to clean it off so that way no dirt or debris falls into it. Alright, next we're going to do, now that you have everything cleared out, you're going to take your new part and make sure that they are the same. As you can see, it is the same. The reason you want to do this, there are two different types of fuel pumps for this vehicle, and you want to make sure you get the correct one. I'll link this one down in the description. So all you're going to do is pull this tab up, and that one pulls out, and then you'll just have to pull this little locking tab out of there. It's pulled straight out, and then pull this back, and you get the electrical connections off. All right, so for the fuel lines, this is nice. All you need is a needle nose plier. You should pinch both sides of this and it will pop out on both of these sides you like this one as well this one seems to be in a little bit better condition 
just like that. All right, so what you want to do is this tab right here, you're just going to pry it up. It'll sit right there. And all you're going to need to do is grab yourself a screwdriver. And you're just going to get right there on the edge. And you're just going to lightly tap it counterclockwise. You can see it slowly starting to move. Just like that. And now your pump comes right out. So after you get the pump out, this will be a ring that comes off. All you're going to do is make sure you'll see two sides of it. This lit will be wanting to face up and you'll just go over it. So now all you're going to do is you're going to do everything that I just said and just reverse it. So put it in, turn it clockwise, plug all the connections in, and then I'll show you after that. All right, so for this pump, you had to rewire it to one of these standard GM pins. And I had one of these. So to put it simply, uh, this, this far right pin right here, when you're looking at your, if you have this kind of connector, if you're facing it upward, like this, no, it'll be like this, is when you get it off, it'll be like this. The purple will be on the top right. This bottom right black one is this far right black one. And then the far left black one will be this left black one. So it's pretty self-explanatory where you look at it like this, right goes to right, left goes to left. But uh, I figured that's some good, helpful tip for you. All right, so the last thing you wanna do before you put everything back together, Everything is clipped and secure. These are nice and clipped in. Transfer process is pretty simple. You just pop these off, these little tabs, they pop off the old pump, put it on this one. All you're gonna do is you just wanna make sure that the vehicle starts before you put everything together. Let the pump run for a second. And as we can see, I don't know if you can hear that, but I can hear the fuel pump coming. So that means we have done this correctly, wiring is correct, so now we just need to put the bed back onto the frame. Alright, so when you want to go put the bed back down, you're going to drop it all the way, as straight as you can get it. And then you want to go under with your front bed bolts, these are the easier ones to see. And you want to line the two in the front and the two on the other side up. And then the front of the bed should be lined up and the back should be pretty good for you to go ahead and do the same for the back as well. So after you get your eight bolts in, uh, you're gonna wanna, then you're going to want to go through and take them all out individually, put some thread locker, I use blue, and I sort them down to 50 foot-pounds each. And I went all the way around, I did a counterclockwise motion around the truck. And then you're going to come in here and you should be able to push up under the truck. You'll see the filler neck, you'll be able to push it up into here. And these you can just get hand tight, that's all they need to be, and then push your pin in. And then lastly, you can just do the reverse order to put in your tailgate, which is insert the driver's side first at an angle, and then you'll be able to slide in the passenger side, and then put in your two clips. After all of that, let's try, try let's start the truck one more time. All right, so finally, we're just gonna try to start one more time. So you can see, truck runs, idles well. Go ahead, just revs, and it goes back down to idle very well. So, hope this helps. See you guys next time.